If you like my creation of what you've seen in this video on my channel, feel free and share. And if you prefer, you can subscribe. So, let's create. Let me introduce you to the ingredients that are going to add a lot of flavor to this thing. So I have short ribs, beef short ribs. I have about two pounds. I have uh, a handful of a variety of mushrooms. Very nice. A potato, this type. Cut it, peel it. A carrot or two. Cut it, peel it, and cut them in half too. I have what they call jautia, that you can go to a Spanish um, market and Asian and find it there. I peel one and cut it in fourth. Um, I got a small, small onion, cut it, chop it, garlic, about a handful of teeth. I got a Roman tomato. I cut it into pieces. I also have what I call recao or plantro. The leaf looks like this, it's wide. See? Cut it into pieces. Bay leaf, a bay leaf is sufficient. I have some cilantro, looks like that. Cut it into pieces, if you cannot find the culantro, just go with the cilantro. Um, I have the celery, a couple of sticks of celery, maybe three, chop them. I have a tomato, one of those tomatoes are grinded into my tomato sauce. Smoked paprika. I have salt, you can use any type. I'm going with the birch smoked salt from Iceland, I, I order. They have good prices. I don't get anything from them, by the way. I'm just sharing with you the good stuff. And I have some beef broth. You can just stock if you want to, or you can use water. I have four cups. I might need more, I might need less. I don't know yet. Oh, and I have a cup of rosemaries. Those aromatics, huh? And some fresh oregano. I like to add a little bit of oil. Sometimes I do. This is beef, you really don't need to do that, but I will. Just a little bit. And what I'm going to do with that, which by the way, oil is a no brainer for ingredients. I'm going to add some of the salt. I'm going to add a generous amount. I'm going to mix things together. So I have a pan, you can use cast iron or any type, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to put some extra virgin olive oil, which is my preference. You don't want them swimming, but you want to cover the surface area. I'm going to put more salt. A nice trick. This thing has been preheating a high heat. I'm going to lower it to medium high and just start adding the meat. You're going to cook all size two pounds, huh? a little bit over two pounds. You're going to do this for about five minutes total. Make sure that you flip them around and do your movement for five minutes. After about five minutes of flipping them around, they get this nice color. Put them in a clean container. Reduce the heat to medium high. Put some of the oil that you used earlier. I'm 
going to reduce the heat a little bit more because the oil is hot. Onions. Cilantro. What you're doing is you're creating your sofrito. Culantro. We'll change that out. Medium heat. Oregano, mine is fresh from the farmer's market. You can just try, just a handful. Yeah, you garlic. You can cut it in, you can chop it or you can grind it, it doesn't matter. What it matters is that you have to move fast. You don't have a lot of time because you don't want to burn. Does it have to be perfect? Add your tomato sauce. Add your chunks of tomatoes. Partica, smoke. Just a little bit, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Maybe half a teaspoon. Give it a nice color and flavor. Now, this is the base now. Went from sofrito to base. Add the potatoes. Carrots and yautia. Mix things up. See how beautiful it's looking. Bring your meat. The chunks. Put your mushrooms. You can wait a little bit longer. For me, it doesn't matter. Add your broth. Three cups might be sufficient. Four cups will work. Raise the heat to three quarter. Uh, about three notches above medium high. So there's a couple of things I wanted to tell you at this stage before it starts simmering. You're going to give it a taste to see if the salt content is to your liking. Perfect. If you need salt, you add it now and mix it. Second thing, put your bay leaf now. And I have not forgotten about the rosemary, nor I have forgotten about this. Because this cooks so fast, I'm going to wait until a little bit later to do this. Once it starts simmering, lower the heat to around a notch above medium, maybe to medium. And put your timer to 40 minutes. Cover it. So about 45 minutes later, I reduce the heat to a notch above low. I'm touching things, they are nice. Now it's time to add the celery. And I'm going to add a couple of rosemaries. Give it those aromatics. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to let it cook for about 20 minutes. And see what happens. 
and during the last five minutes, I'm going to give it an earth, earth touch. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of cilantro. I had the heat low, by the way. Just to give it that earth smell, that earth flavor, that final earth touch. <laughs> 